it's Miss Copper here and today I'm going to be teaching a lesson on instruction text. Now all you're going to need for this video is a pencil and a piece of paper. Now remember you can stop the video at any time if you'd like to have a little think, write down any ideas or notes that you'd like to take. Now we're going to start off with a little bit of spelling. Now I've got some sentences here. And where there is a blank space, I'm going to say a word that you're going to need to write down for your spelling. Okay, and a little tip, we may be using some of these words later in our instruction text, so keep them in your brain for a little bit later on. Okay, the boy is running to the park quickly. So the word you need to write down here is quickly. The wind is blowing gently over the beach, gently. Amy is riding her bike carefully along the road, carefully. Ethel and Schnell are eating their food slowly, slowly. Ben is spreading the butter evenly on the bread. Evenly. Okay, I'm going to go through those words once more. You can pause the video if you need a little bit of time to write them down and then you can press play once you are finished. So first we have quickly, gently, carefully, slowly and evenly. Okay, now let's have a look to see if you've got those right. There are the answers. Don't worry if you've got any of them wrong. You can just make a little note next to the original words um, with the correct spelling. Now, I would like you to have a little think. What type of words are these? If you said adverbs, you would have been right. Okay. Have a little think. What is an instruction text? And what are some examples that you can think of? I'd like you to pause the video, have a little think about this, and maybe tell an adult or jot down some ideas. Instruction texts are step-by-step -step guides explaining how to do or make something. Some examples of this could be a recipe, some instructions for a game, or a how to make guide. Okay, I have now got an example of an instruction text and down the side I have listed the features that we are going to be looking at today. Now this is a really fun activity that you might want to make at a, um, after this video so if you'd like to you can pause now and have a little look maybe write it down and you can make this at a later date so the first feature that we're going to look at is the title where in this instruction text is the title it is right at the top here so the title of this instruction text is How to Make a Toilet Paper Roll Bird Feeder. Next, we are going to be looking for the subheadings. You can have a little pause of the video or just point to the screen where you think the subheadings are. They are here. So the subheadings for this instruction text are you will need and the method. So the subheadings clearly separate each section of the instruction text. Okay, next we are going to be looking for the opening sentence. Now the opening sentence is important because it has to make the reader want to create or do whatever the instruction text is about. So point to the screen, see where you can um, see it. And it is here. Now next we are going to be looking for a clear list of equipment or ingredients. Point to the screen where you can see that. And it is here, well done. Next 
we are going to need some simple steps to see um, how to make whatever the instruction text is about. A little point, have a little read. And they are there, well done. Next, we are going to need some imperative verbs. Now remember, imperative verbs are um, verbs that tell you what to do. See, though, I'll give you a clue. They're going to be included in the method. So see if you can spot any in the method. Okay, we've got quite a few imperative verbs in this instruction text. We have spread, fill, roll, cut, thread, tie and hang. Okay, the next feature we are going to be looking for is bullet points or numbers. So anywhere in the text where you can see that, point to them. Well done, this is quite an easy one. So we have them here, so we've got the numbers. Usually the method contains the numbers and the um, in ingredients or list of what you will need will include the bullet points. Next we are looking for some adverbs. See, so telling you how to do something. Let's have a look. We have got evenly, carefully, and gently. Those were some of the adverbs that we saw in the spelling at the beginning. Okay. Let's see if we can find were any adverbs of time. If you can spot them anywhere in this text. Let's have a look. Here we go. So we have first, then, next, after, we've got then again, and finally. And that shows that this is in chronological order. Okay, next we're going to be looking for the diagrams or illustrations or photographs in this um, instruction text. There we go, we have it over here. This is just a little picture of what the end result will look like, which is very important in an instruction text so the reader knows what they are aiming to do. And finally, we're going to be looking for the closing statement. Okay, there we go, here is our closing statement. Well done if you got all of those correct. You can pause the video now and have a little look to make sure you're sure of all the features and where they are included in an instruction text. Okay, now it is time to bake. I have a really fun activity planned. I'm going to be making some banana bread. I need you to make some notes and remember the steps because later on you're going to be making your own instruction text for the banana bread that I make. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Now I thought it would be a good idea to do some baking today for our instruction text as this week it was supposed to be the Great Malins Bake Off so I hope this inspires you to do some baking at home as well. Now Pause this video at any point to jot down some notes of maybe all of the ingredients in the equipment that I'm using and the steps because they're going to be very important when you come to write your instruction text later. So I'm going to start off with the equipment that you'll need. So first you'll need a big mixing bowl, some weighing scales, I've got a few different size bowls here so I can um, pour my ingredients in there to measure. So I've got one large bowl and two small bowls. I also have a fork, a tablespoon and a teaspoon. And finally, I also have a little measuring spoon but you can use a measuring jug. So now we're going to move on to the ingredients, maybe that could be a subheading that you could use in your text. So we are going to need 225 grams of plain flour, 
100 grams of sugar, 75 milliliters of vegetable oil, two teaspoons of baking powder, and finally the most important ingredient, which is the bananas. Um, as you can see, these bananas are very ripe and we can tell because they have got lots of black dots on them and these are the perfect type of bananas for banana bread. Okay, now let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is preheat your oven. Now you're going to need to ask an adult to do this if you are doing this yourself at home. So you're going to need to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 180 degrees if you have got a fan oven. Okay, so the next step that we are going to do is we are going to mash up the bananas. Okay, now I am just measuring out my sugar and flour. So it was 100 grams of sugar and 225 grams of flour. Okay, so I'm going to add the mashed banana into the bowl along with the 75 millilitres of oil and the 100 grams of sugar. And then I'm going to use my spoon to carefully mix that all together. Okay, next I'm going to add the flour and the two teaspoons of baking powder. And once again, I'm going to give that a mix. Now you're going to carefully add the mixture into your lined loaf tin. And then you're going to spread it out evenly. Okay, now you're going to ask your adults to in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching me bake. I'm usually not very good, but that banana bread tasted delicious. So have a go at making it at home if you would like. Now, your task is to write an instruction text on the banana bread that I have just made. So you can go back and watch it again, or you can write your instruction text as you're watching me make the banana bread to help you. Now remember to include all of the features that we have just um, been through, and I have put some vocabulary ideas on the board for you to use. So I've got some adverbs, some adverbs of time and some imperative verbs that you might want to use. Now you can share your work with me or your teacher on Purple Mash or you can get your adult to take a photo of your work and email it over. I can't wait to see them and I hope you enjoy making your instruction text. I'll see you next time. Bye!